this. They call it the world's greatest social experiment on love. So you just looked away. I'm going to call on you right away. Let's go. Have to have it or no way. A job. Good credit. Okay. It has to be over 700. <laughs> it is the great love debate, and you can take part in it right here in North Texas. You need to be listening right now if you are single. Joining in right now is the headliner and creator, Brian Howie. And um, it's so exciting to have you here because I know there's some single people out there listening. You can go too, right, if you're married. But you can, A lot of married people. I okay. Mean, it's love, sex, dating, relationships all in one crazy package. But here's the thing. You were telling me that you've been all over the world with this and you've actually had people start relationships out of this event? Oh yeah, well, there's been uh, close to 50 couples that we know of who started just because they met at one of these great love debates. Th laughing and being honest and open and having the walls come down over 90 fun minutes goes a long, long way. And alcohol, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah booze always tricks. makes a difference. Yeah. Okay, so I'm kind of skipping ahead, but let's okay. back back up a little bit. So you've got a podcast, you've got a book. That's what sort of spurred this, this great event, this debate. Yeah, I've I've always been sort of curious between the uh, dynamic between the men and the women because I was a you know, <laughs> long time frustrated single guy too and I thought <laughs> if I could get some of the answers uh, I might be able to solve the puzzle so I wrote this book called How to Find Love in 60 Seconds and we decided to raise some of the questions that the book raised in an, sort of an open town hall style forum mm -hmm. and we were supposed to do one of these shows and tomorrow night in uh, Plano will mark 392 in wow. 94 countries and we just got back from Israel and we were in Australia and Everywhere we go is a little bit different, but it pretty much comes down to confidence and communication and getting this many people together uh, goes a long way. Well, so explain the debate. It's not like a political debate. No, it is a, uh, you know, the first question that I will ask tomorrow night is the, is the biggest challenge with love dating relationships in Dallas, Texas in 2019 is what? And the first hand hopefully goes up. If not, I will call on somebody. <laughs> and it goes from there and it goes in all kinds of directions. Um, people say crazy things. It's really funny. It's really interactive. And uh, all of the information that we learn from every city and you know, over 100,000 people have come to these shows comes from the audience. My job is sort of to raise the questions and we're here to find out the answers. And you've obviously gotten really good at it after doing this many shows. Yeah, we have a handle on everything. We named the women of Dallas America's most dateable women what? in 2019, but we named the city of Dallas America's seventh worst place to date. So you can do the math there on what the problem is in this town. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you've got some advice for those people as well. Yeah, everybody's got to step up. I say, the, you know, the, the women are looking for red flags and the men are looking for green lights. Mm. Well, everybody sort of needs to take one step back towards each other and uh, learn to communicate again. As we always say, get your head out of your apps. And uh, <laughs> there's opportunities every single day in a city like this, in a place like this, with people like this, where you can meet, learn, love, engage, all that kind of stuff. Are you listening? Are you listening out there? Get your head out of your app. I like that. I'll be careful how I say it. Um, it's not a self-help seminar, though. No, it is a comedy show. Okay. Uh, it is funnier than uh, anything. But there is a point to it. And people re people come to these shows thinking, I think I'm the only one who feels this way. And you'll leave understanding that everybody feels this way. And there's a lot of comfort into realizing that. And uh, it'll change your life. It really will. So what will people, what do they need to prepare themselves for? Obviously, you're going to call on people if you don't get hands raised. Oh, I'll get I, both. Yeah, my job is to uh, whack these seemingly reasonable people in the head like a pinata and get the, <laughs> the stuff out of them. Uh, come prepared to laugh, come prepared to engage, come prepared to um, be challenged on what you think the issues are in this city and in this community uh, and have your snow globe sort of shaken up a little bit and we'll see what falls out. But a lot of good things come up, come out and uh, it's a really fun time, it really is. And I, I, would like, I would like to say we were talking about this disconnect that's happening and you fear it's getting greater. A little bit, we're allowing it to get greater by allowing um, social media to get in the way and this sort of this blurring of the traditional gender roles has gotten into dating. As long as we realize that we have to do a little bit extra in terms of communication and to let uh, potential partners or our actual partners know what we want, need, desire, like, we're still fine uh, and uh, people can't lose hope. We're selling hope around here at the Great Love Debate. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Eternally optimistic. And I'm sure folks can find your book there tomorrow night, too. Yeah, correct? absolutely. Or you can find it online, Google. But greatlovedebate.com has all of your information. You can just watch a highlight video, tickets, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so tomorrow night, 8 o'clock at Hyena Comedy Club in Plano for tickets and other information. As you just heard, go to greatlovedebate.com. You must get tickets in advance, and the show will be recorded. So get ready to have some fun. Good to meet you. Thanks for having me back. This yeah. is fun. Hope we're back and we have more love connections out there.